Hello and welcome to the channel and what do you do when you're in lockdown and you can't go out and play? Well, you buy a 3D printer and you print some stuff. And with stuff, I mean a fully functioning 40 millimeter blunderbuss, whatever, pirate gun, whatever you want to call it, it shoots a 40 millimeter shell. Now I bought the Anycubic Mega S. It's a really good starter printer for uh, anybody that wants to start 3D printing stuff. It's very good to set up. It's easy. It's fun to work with. It's uh, it does what it has to do. And uh, looking forward to using it a lot more in future projects. Now, because this was one of uh, my first project that I did on the printer, I learned a lot. I failed a lot. And the first thing that you have to do is try to find the right way to position your pieces on the bed before printing them. And uh, I had some good pieces. I had some bad pieces and uh, so yeah that's why some of the pieces are a bit ugly now the barrel was the first bigger piece that I printed on my printer and it printed for um, I think it was around uh, five six hours and it was a little bit scary to leave my printer alone for that long but it came out pretty fine pretty happy with it there were some not as pretty things on it but I'm happy with it and after some hours of printing, the barrel was finally finished. And then I tried to fit the shell in it and it didn't fit. And I didn't want to print it again. Uh, so I, I uh, had to find a way to make this hole a little bit bigger so these shells would fit in it. Now, uh, I tried some different things. I tried filing it, I used sand, I tried sanding it, but nothing really worked. So I made a small tool for it. I cut out a round piece of wood, put some uh, sanding paper on it, on, put it on my drill and sanded out the inside until the uh, shell finally fit. It's not, it's a tight fit. I should do it a little bit more but it's working I'm happy with it and after some hours of printing I finally had all my pieces that were ready for the first test assembly I put it all together held it in my hands uh, tried to get my shell inside and I did my first test shot and I was pretty happy with the sound with how it worked with the parts working I was really happy that my project was getting along uh, pretty good and now the making a pretty part could begin. Now the first thing that you have to do is you have to sand every little piece so you don't see any uh, ribs on it because if you print it you will have the layers a little bit. Now I tried to make it as smooth as possible. It was a lot of work to make it as smooth as possible. And after you sanded it all down um, I thought I was going to like fill up the holes with uh, some spray filler. Well that didn't work out. <laughs> as much as I hoped it would um, it uh, didn't fill up all the uh, layer thingies and afterwards I read online that if you want to get rid of all those you can uh, use some wood filler to smooth it all out so the next project I will be uh, using some wood filler to fill it up and make it more pretty and the next step after I used the filler uh, was the painting process now the black that was an easy choice uh, so I started off with the black pieces I gave it some coats and um, it came out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the black, but with the brown pieces that was, I didn't know how to do the, the, the wood look. And I searched online to find a good example on um, people trying to do uh, plastic and make it a wood look. I tried some things, it didn't work out pretty good. And after some searching online, I found a tutorial that was doing what I needed it to do. And uh, you basically just buy some acrylic paint. I went to a shop, buy some acrylic brown paint. I painted out the first layer and it was looking really red. And I was like, um, I hope this gets better. Um, but then they said, yes, after the brown paint, you have to use some black paint and make it darker. But before you do that, you have to take your, um, your file and make holes and cuts in it. Well, I didn't want to do that because I just smoothed it all out, uh, filled it up, and now I have to cut holes in it. Um, I didn't feel pretty good to do that, but um, I would a small heart or whatever you say in other languages, uh, um, I made some cuts in it, and then I took a cloth and I put some black paint on it, and I filled up those holes, and it was looking so amazing. I was really, really happy with the uh, result with the black paint, the brown and black paint. And now I just had to do some more detail work on it. I had to add some copper screws on it. And there was some tricky screws because uh, these little screws here, um, they didn't fit the holes. So I had to uh, adjust the screws a little bit, put it on my sanding belt and make them fit, put some glue in it and uh, it's working pretty nice. Now, because I was working with small screws, I had to find a way to do uh, like the axle to pivot my trigger around and uh, I did that with a small metal rod, uh, jammed it in there, put some glue on it and it's working pretty good. 
Now the final piece that I did was if you print it, there is no spring in the trigger assembly. And I wanted to my, my pin to go back inside if I pulled the trigger. And originally it didn't do that. So I searched for a spring that just fit over the pin. And now if I pull the trigger, the pin is uh, going back inside. The only thing that I had to do was file out the inside a little bit because uh, the spring is thicker than the pin. And that's it. It's working pretty good. Now I only have to wait until the fields are opening up again so I can test this out into the field and make a video about it. I'm really looking forward to make a video about me using this thing uh, in, an, in an airsoft game. Now if you got any questions or remarks on my build just put them in the comments and if you got your own crazy airsoft build just put it in the comments. And I will put up a link in the description if you want to make one yourself. It's pretty easy you just print it and it just comes out and you have to do some modification but that's it. It's pretty easy to make one yourself. Now I want to thank you all for watching this video, but for now, keep safe and I'll see you all next week. Bye!